गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द लैब सेशन ऑफ लैब प्रैक्टिस वन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट प्रैक्टिकल ऑन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड रोबोटिक्स टुडेज प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इज इम्प्लीमेंट टिक टैक टोय यूजिंग ए स्टार अलग्रिदम लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ वर्किंग ऑफ ए स्टार अलग्रिदम इन गेम थेरी लर्निंग आउटकम स्टूडेंट विल एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड लर्निंग मॉडल टू ट्रेन मशीन टू प्ले स्मार्ट मूव इन गेम अगेंस्ट प्लेयर यूजिंग ए स्टार अलग्रिदम टिक टैक टॉय गेम आई होप एवरी वन हैड प्लेड दिस गेम वंस इन अ लाइफ इन दिस गेम वी हैव द बोर्ड ऑफ साइज थ्री बाय थ्री थ्री रोज एंड थ्री कॉलम्स देर आर टू प्लेयर्स फॉर दिस गेम Player one will mark X in any empty cell randomly, and player two will mark O in empty cell randomly. Let's play this game. First player turn, it will mark X randomly at any empty cell. Suppose they have marked at middle cell. Now, player two's first turn, it will mark O. in empty cell so it have mark o on the right corner cell in player one second turn it will mark again x same in player two second turn it will mark o now player one third turn it will again mark x and game will stop because if you get all three x horizontally vertically or diagonally on straight line then player 1 will win if we get all three o's horizontally vertically or diagonally on straight line then player 2 will win and here player 1 has won the game because we got all three x on the diagonally straight line so this is the Uh, play, uh, this is a play, uh, game of TikTok game. So in this assignment, we have to implement TikTok to game such that one player will be machine and one player will be user. We have to use min max algorithm of the class A star to implement this game to maximize the chances of machine wins. We have to decide best move such that. either machine will win or game will draw means here we have to maximize the chances of machine will win so user will never win so the moves we have to decide let demonstrate min max algorithm with example let us consider initial configuration of tic tac toy game here already three moves played by the machine three x and three moves played by the user machine will mark x and user will mark o now it is a fourth turn of machine so here machine will mark x so there are the three possible choices for the machine to marks a it will marks x here or x here or x here so let's see the graph structure machine will mark x at the first cell or at the second empty cell or at the third empty cell now its user's turn it will mark o in the empty cell suppose consider this scenario if machine marks x in the first cell then user can mark o either in first cell empty cell or second empty cell here user can mark o in this first empty cell or second empty cell and here user can mark o in first or second empty cell let's see the graph structure user will mark o at first uh, first cell or at the second cell here user will mark o at the first cell or at the second cell and here and here user need not to be mark o because we got all that 3x at on the straight line vertically 
so machine has won that game so there is no need to the mark o by the user so now only consider remaining this four case here now machine turns it will mark machine mark your x here or it will mark x here or it will mark x here or it will mark x here now let's see the machine turn so machine will mark x here x here and x here so we will assign values 10 equal to 10 means machine win minus 10 means machine loss and 0 means draw so now here in first case all three o's appears on the vertical line that means here machine loss so i will assign here minus 10 so here machine here game is draw i will assign 0 here machine is own the game i will assign 10 value here here game is drawn so i will assign 0 here and here already machine has own the game so i will assign the plus 10 minus 10 Zero minus uh, plus ten, zero and plus ten. These values we have assigned. Now implementation. Basically, we have to implement two functions in the assignment. Find best move and second min max. Find best move function evaluates all available moves and then return. Best move using min max function. So let's see the working code of TikTok using a star. Now let's open the one uh, test file to write the code. So I will write here Java code for the TikTok toy using a star. Let's declare the one class. public class class name is i am going class name is gfg game fundamental theory open curly bracket i will take one abstract class static class move to decide the moves and i will take here two variables integer row comma column And here same equation because it is an abstract static class. Then I will decide the our main method public static void main string array arguments open curly bracket. I will now take the one the multi-dimensional array to take the initial configuration of board. So we have to take three by three matrix. So character username is board. It is a three-dimensional array. So I will take the here two square brackets and I will put the initial configuration of our board. So first row it will having the x o. And x. In second row, it is having o, comma, o, comma, x. In the last row. We have the three empty cells. Now this is a three by three array. We have taken as a input for this program as the initial configuration of board. Now I will. Declare the object of static class move. So 
मू इज अ क्लास नेम आई विल क्रिएट ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ मू क्लास बेस्ड मू इज इक्वल टू आई विल कॉल आई विल डिक्लेयर द फंक्शन विच यू हैव टू इम्प्लीमेंट फाइंड बेस्ड मू एंड आई विल पास द पैरामीटर टू दिस फंक्शन इज द एरे विच यू हैव टेकन एज अ इनपुट बोर्ड then system dot out dot print ln this find based move function will return optimal move we are display here optimal move in that optimal move are the column name and row name so system dot out dot print ln and display here the row and column name row percent d and column percent d in that row and column written by the object based move of the class based move dot row comma based move dot column so it is our main function it will just take the initial configuration of board as a input and it will call the function based find move to get the best move from all possible moves so now just implement the best move function from the class move static move function name find based move and here argument is we have passed the basic configuration of board as a input means array of 3 by 3 so you have to declare one array character array board having the multi dimensional so i have declared here one variable now you have take integer Best value as a variable. Now I will assign one random value here minus one thousand. Then object of class move best move is equal to new move means I have created a constructor of the class abstract class move and we have assign best move value of row dot row is equal to minus one initially. and the column value also for the minus 1 best move dot column is equal to minus 1 then we have to evaluate the all possible moves for that we have to travel all the initial configuration so i will take the for loop for loop i equal to 0 integer i equal to 0 i less than 3 I plus plus. It is for the row. We have the three rows. Now the second for loop is for the column. So integer j is equal to zero. J less than three. J plus plus. Now we have to check whether that cell. is empty or not so if board i of the, i or i and j of j is equal to empty so here empty means you have just taken the underscore if it is the empty then you have to play the move so board of i and j is equal to player we have to mark the player means we have assign the value for the machine x and for the user o so value of player equal to either x or a then now we have to use the min max function to obtain the best move so i will call here min max function so integer move value is a variable i am taking 
it will store the value written by the function min max i will call here min max function and i will give here parameter is a board 0 and initially false now it will obtain the best move and it will if it is not the best move it will make the that location as a empty so board of i and j is equal to underscore so it will obtain if it is a only best move then only it will play the move otherwise it will make the as it is empty now if move value if move value is greater than best value then we have to update the best value of the row and column best move row is equal to i and best move dot column is equal to j and best value we have to update by the move value because now we have to update the best value with the new updated move value so here the implementation of function find best move now you have to display here system dot out dot print l the value if machine will it the value will be the 10 the value of best move value of best move is you have to display here best value and that best value is 10 for the if machine will win and it will the zero if my, um, uh, game is drawn it will minus 10 if machine will lost so is for the send d and you have that value store in a Best value variable. Semicolon. Return the best value. Return best value to the main function. So the best move to display the best move in a main function. Best move means it will display the row number and column number, including the main class. Now, if you run this program on the command prompt. Let's see how to run this program. Open the command prompt, and to run the Java program, you have to first go to the location of the Java program. I have saved, I have stored that Java program on the desktop, so I will put here CD desktop. Then I will compile first Java C. G F G is our class name. Dot Java. If there is no error, it will run fine. Now Java G F G class name. Enter. It will display the best move is equal to ten because machine has win and optimal move is second row and second column. I hope you have understood the implementation of Tik Tok to a game using A star in Java language. Thank you thank you all